Sir Christian the Knight was a famous tactician and adventurer who played a key role in the Restoration Wars. Christian was always more of a frontiersman than a knight, having set foot in nearly every part of Enroth before finally settling in the military service in Erathia. Though a wanderer and a bit of a dreamer, his battlefield tactics were feared throughout the world. This is his story. Born in Enroth, Christian showed great promise for the military in his early youth, as he had a tactical mind and great fighting skills. More than that, Christian was an adventurer and so, against his father's wishes, he declined to join the military and boarded the ship, aspiring to become a fragrance alchemist in an exotic land. However, no one can escape his destiny, as Sir Christian's ship sailed into a hurricane and ended up shipwrecked on a small island filled with hostile goblin natives. The goblins were all cheery and promised to build Christian another ship if he would build them a capital. Making good use of his skills in the battlefield, Christian succeeds to overcome the natives' enemies and grant them their wish. After his victory, Christian had nothing else but to participate in natives' feasts and ceremonies. Despite reminding the natives what was promised, the natives refused to keep their end of the bargain. In one of the island's taverns, Christian met the leader of the raiders he just defeated. After a long discussion, the leader concluded that he could leave the island, but only if Christian reclaimed the lands he has defeated in his previous endeavors. Christian's tactical skills were once again put in good use, slowly taking over any dreams that he had about the careless life of a frontiersman and a fragrance alchemist. After helping the raiders reclaim the island, Christian headed out with a new ship. In a new twist of misfortune, his former allies had taken the navigational equipment. Christian and his men, after floating for several days, managed to find another island, part of the Regnan Empire. Despite being inhabited by pirates, Christian and his men swore allegiance to these pirates, who wanted him to defeat the other pirate factions. Once again, Christian's battle skills were more than enough, and he managed to dominate his pirate enemies. After having captured the cities for Regnar pirates, Christian stole a ship and managed to arrive to an Arathian outpost. Unfortunately, the outpost had been targeted by the same pirates he served to. Christian was now caught in the middle, with only two options available before him, either defeat the pirates or wait until Catherine's forces arrived. Christian chose the latter, and as Queen Catherine said to Erathia to attend to her father's funeral, Christian managed to make a deal with her and join the ranks of her knights. Unbeknownst to them, Erathia was invaded by both Nyon and Deofol. Queen Catherine's landing in Atagrich was met with the ominous sight of battles gone ill, as the dungeon overlords were pushing on into Erathia. Christian had now a chance to prove his worth to his new queen, and was set in charge of the town of Cariatid, which would serve as an initial base of operations. Christian managed to push back the forces of Nyon and secure the area. From there, and with the aid of angels, Christian liberated the village of Fairfeather and pressed on towards Griffincliff, where he managed to secure the aid of the mighty griffins that were nesting there. Queen Catherine's goal was to reach the Arathian capital of Stedwick and reclaim Arathia. With Stedwick secured, the fight went on to fully liberate Arathia and destroy the reanimated corpse of King Griffonheart. Sir Christian was by his queen's side in all these escapades until Arathia was fully restored. And indeed, during Arathia's restoration and the ensuing wars, Christian proved himself to be a loyal and valuable member of the military, serving under Queen Catherine's command. When the reckoning happened, Christian managed to survive and escape through one of the many portals into Axel. He found a new home in the kingdom of Palaedra, which was founded by the Arathian refugees who managed to flee the cataclysmic reckoning and the subsequent collapse of the world. A committed and organized commander, Christian provided his service and adventurous spirit to any and all worthy causes. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe on this channel and consider supporting me on Patreon. Leave a comment below to let me know what other parts of Heroes 3 lore you would like to be explored next. Cheers.